Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for June 8th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair broke through previous support, closed lower. We are looking for it to continue to the downside. However, possibly going as high as 80.66 on a reversal, possibly as low as 69, I'm sorry, 79.29. Look for some resistance around 80.25 if it does move higher and look for some support around 79.67. All right, let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair moved sideways, almost tagged, I mean, basically tagged the high, uh, just a pip or two off on the high and the low. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue its move to the upside. However, it has started its move sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 147.66, possibly as low as 144.45. Look for some resistance around 14700 and look for some support around 14515. Now the pound US dollar pair. This pair is moving sideways, has been moving sideways, closed down, created an inside bar during this last session. Look for it to potentially go as high as 16519, possibly as low as 16282. Look for some resistance around 16475. And look for some support around 163.25. Now the U.S. Swiss. This pair continues to move sideways. Uh, it did create an inside bar. Had a very small range today. It is moving sideways. Uh, we, we are looking for it to continue its move to the downside. However, it could potentially go as high as 08.423. Possibly as low as 082.92. Look for some resistance around 083.75 and look for some support around 083.00. All right, well, that about wraps that part up. We do have the pound releasing their, uh, their Bank of England asset purchase targets for June tomorrow, showing a uh, consensus of holding at $200 billion. We also have their rate decision being released at 7 a.m. Eastern Time for the pound. Consensus is they're going to hold rates at 0.50%. Now at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time, we have the Euro, the European Union, uh, European Bank releasing their rate decision. And the consensus is they're going to hold rates as well at 1.25%. All right, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, I'm definitely looking for the U.S. Swiss to break to the downside. Uh, I do believe that it will continue its move uh, lower. Looking for a break, and we're at all-time lows, but looking for a break below the 08324 mark. Uh, looking to put a stop loss you know, right about here around the 08458 mark uh, so pretty decent stop loss on the day time frame it's about a about 100 pips or so 125 pips actually looking for it though to come on down uh, at least 100 pips to the downside every time we've had uh, an area where we have some uh, you know sideways movement in this pair we get a breakout and when we do it drops, you know, several hundreds, several hundreds of pips within just a couple of days. So I am looking for that to occur in this pair. I do believe it will happen if we get a break to the downside. We could have a very strong day. Now, also we have the pound US dollar pair. This pair created an inside bar during this last session. It uh, has been moving sideways for the past several sessions. I do believe we'll get a breakout of this pair soon. Not sure if it'll happen this next session or not. Nonetheless, looking to buy if the market gets up to 164.71 and looking to exit about 38 pips up at 165.09. Be cautious of that 00, zero level. Things tend to reverse at those levels, so keep an eye on it if it hits it. Now look to sell. I'm looking to sell around 163.19 and looking for a take profit about 35 pips below that at around the 162.83 mark. I hope that helps and until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.